video. Hello. And this time I want to teach you about the fucking most brutal band in the world. better about New York death metal than a skinny white Austrian dude on the internet. So this video is not supposed to make fun of the band. I really really love Mortician. It's my favorite band since I discovered them in about 2004. Unfortunately I haven't seen them live yet. They haven't played a gig in Europe since I know them so come to Europe please. Audition. If you hear this, come to Europe, come to Austria, play at my birthday, play at my funeral. So, what do we need for writing and recording a proper Mortician track? First we need a guitar, then we need a drunk, then we need some sick caveman riffs and we need horror samples. So, how to start? We start with guitar. No. We start with bass. No. Ah. We start with writing a drum track. No. Nein, 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 nein. Ah. We need a sick horror sample. Yay! As may many of you know, about two thirds of a mortician record are horror samples. And I'm going to use a sample from the New York Ripper. And I take took and I took the German version because I want to be exotic. I want to be exotic. <laughs> New York Ripper. Immer wieder schlägt er eiskalt und völlig unvermittelt zu. Lieutenant, er ist wieder dran. Wir haben eine Fangschaltung eingerichtet. Die Jungs sind unterwegs. This, this doesn't sound like Mortician. There's something wrong. But I don't know what. Hmm. Ah. You can't play Mortician with E standard. Much better. This is in B standard, still not very, not completely mortician. I think they play in, in, in G or what the fuck, or maybe F, G. The, I think they play in F, G, F. We have the, the red guitar. And the next thing is bass. Bass. Yikes. Bass. Yikes. Bass. Yikes. When it comes to bass, it should be as distorted as possible. The fuck? Yeah. 
when it comes to drum programming the drums, you don't need a lot. You need the blast beat. You need something for a semi intro. This already sounds pretty good. And every Mortician song needs a cool groove bar somewhere in the middle or towards the end. So now for guitar. You basically just need the first five frets. Everything beneath is melodic death metal basically. So we can work from here to here. And I think we should use this. So I come off with this riff and probably the first one I ever wrote this riff. But I thought something like that. For the blast beat we play it the same but only on one string. To record a proper Mortician track you at least need 265 BPM or more or less you are doom metal. A big shout out to the Facebook page. I make we memes while listening to Mortician. They are fucking hilarious. Probably my favorite Facebook page. Go and support them. Please do it now. Now lyrics, so it's such a short song, we don't need a lot of lyrics. Fucking what? This fucking mask, I... So let's call this song... Uh, Cannibal, Reve Cannibal Revenge. Let's start with... Uh, face... Face eating. Body beating, face eating, tasty body flesh, beating, tasty flesh, face rotten eating, corpses, body food beating, stench, stench, tasty flesh, maggot swarming, maggot swarming food cannibal food revenge. Of course, that's not all. Mortician is is known for. They they are great musicians. Roger, Bouchard, Bouchard is one of my favorite guitarists ever and he basically you can blame him for I have to listen to my music when it comes to recording everything I know recording wise is from his one man death metal band tutorial so we have the horror sample we have some guitars, we have bass and we recorded or wrote the drum. 
What do I add? Of course. Vocals. Will Rama or Will Rama or has one of the most brutal or the or deepest death metal vocals out there. Uh, uh, I doubt I can match up with him, but I give my best. Basically, we just need deep, as deep as possible growls. You can understand shit, so for vocals we do something like I hope this will sound better when I record it. Somebody watch my last video. Hmm. Learn something new, and we see us the next time. And we see us the next time.